We are inside InDesign and I would like to show you what overset text is and how you can fix it when this problem occurs. So very simple scenario just here guys, I have a block of text happily sitting inside of its text frame. Now with the black arrow tool selected, the selection tool, if I just grab say the bottom edge and drag up, we now see a little red plus sign in the bottom right corner of the text box. That's InDesign's way of saying, oh wait, you've got more text than you've actually got text box. Some of the text contained in here can't actually be currently seen. Okay, now I will grant you that that feedback from InDesign is pretty subtle. If you're uh, working through a big document, it could be a little easy to miss. But I wanna also put your mind at rest. Let's for example, come up to file, the WPDF presets, smallest file size. So I'm just doing a quick export out of my PDF. Just pop that on the desktop, just choosing the defaults, choose export. And this is what I wanted you to see just here. There is overset text on these pages, page one in this case. So this is great guys, because InDesign will give you that feedback when you have a critical situation like the exporting out of a PDF. So that's great to know. Just tuck that away for your designing process. So I'll just cancel out of there. So let me step you through a couple of quick ways you can actually fix this scenario. Well, let's go through the first obvious dumb one. You see that little red plus sign? We need to make our text frame bigger. So let's just do that. Make our text frame bigger. Red plus sign goes away. No more overset text. Everything is solved. Very nice. Let me undo that. So we're back to our overset text situation. Now, in many situations, you aren't going to be able to resize a text block based on the design, maybe this text block has to be a very specific size. Okay, so another option is to actually thread this text into a new text frame. So with the text frame selected, if I, again, using the black arrow tool, if I click and release once on that red plus sign, my cursor changes dramatically. This is telling me that the next time I click or click and drag, I'm going to drag out a new threaded text frame. So if I just click and release, InDesign gives me a new text box, which swells to fill the margins of the page. And that text box is connected to the one we were just playing with a moment ago. Let me undo one step. As opposed to clicking and releasing guys, you also have the option to click, drag and release. Now, when we do that, basically the same scenario was created. A new text box was created that was linked to the previous one. But in this case, we were able to dictate the size of that new text box. So this is great. These text boxes are linked together. You can see if I was to resize this first one, the text is happily flowing between them. And also if I want to see that connection between the text frames, up under view extras, I can turn on show text threads. And now you can see that connection between those text frames. Now, if I make uh, say even the second one a little bit too small, you can see that red plus sign pops up for overset text, no worries. Just click and release on its red plus sign and drag out another text box. Very cool. So we've got all these nicely threaded text frames and we now no longer have any, any overset text. Let me just uh, delete those text frames and get us back to the scenario we had just a moment ago where I've removed just those first few lines just there. I'm going to scoot this over a little guys. And now notice I have nothing selected. I'm coming up to the edit menu. And I want you to see this option just here, edit in story editor. Now this is currently grayed out because we have no text frame selected. So to activate this option, first thing, first thing we need to do is select the text frame. Then up under edit, edit in story editor. This will open up this whole new window just here. Now this thing's great. It's an actual duplication of the text that we have inside of our text frame. But notice we can also see just down here, our overset text. It will even identify that with the word overset and put this little red line running down the left edge just here. Now what's great is we can actually edit this text and in real time, it will actually update here. So let's say for example, I decide to delete these words in brackets just here. So if I delete that like so, that change is immediately updated over here inside of our main document. So maybe I'll come back here and oh, there's some more text in brackets just up here. So I'll delete that. Okay, we're getting closer. There's a little less overset text just there. Let's make this nice and simple, hey? Let's just go and delete that entire last sentence and give it a second. And there we go. No more overset text just here. 
no more little red plus sign just down here. Everything is great. So we no longer need this window here, guys. So we can just close that up like so. So that's it there, guys. That's overset text here inside of InDesign and some ways to potentially fix that problem. I hope that helps. Catch you later.